Hey guys, Tim here at JK Boots. Want to do a quick video about the differences between our OT boot and our forefront boot. Um, we get that question a lot, so here we go. Let's start with our OT boot. Uh, it's awesome. You know, just, just to be honest, we kind of call it our dual sport. Um, the idea behind it is we wanted to have a boot that had the principles of our Super Duty, so tough, durable, kind of on the heavy, you know, heavy duty, that, that feeling, but it wasn't. It was a little bit more lightweight and nimble and flexible, and so this is what, what we came up with. I actually designed this with a firefighter friend out of Redding, California. Um, I'll keep him nameless, but shout out to him. He knows who he is, very popular in the fire community, great guy. And um, anyways, what we did was, the biggest difference, just to, just to keep it short, is the Super Duty, or our classic Fire Inlander boot, the midsole, it runs from the heel all the way to the toe, so it's all the way through. With this one, what we did is we feathered it at the ball of the foot, giving it that flexibility and that nimbleness. We call it our flexi design. Um, and that was huge. It cut the weight and it just added to that lightness. It added to that like kind of quick feeling. So almost like a sneaker, kind of not. Um, and it was really, really good. We've had a lot of success with it. Eight inch top is the most common just because of that, just a little bit more lightweight, just kind of quickness. And then we dropped the heel, we dropped the arch. We threw on this um, 132 unit sole and it comes in both honey and then the classic black sole. And it just, it added such a nice wide base for the heel, very st stable, very grounded. And people loved it and it was amazing and it's been really good. From this, we moved on and started thinking about all of the construction guys, all the iron workers, all of the welders, all the fabricators, all the electricians, the carpenters, the HVAC guys, just so many different professions, so many construction related professions. And we just saw how there was a need for this right here, which is our forefront. And so what we did is we took this and we turned it more so into this for the construction general work contractor, all kind of purpose laborer boot. And we created our forefront. Same flexi design as the OT, but we threw on this white Christie sole, this wedge sole, some people call it, instead. And this sole is amazing. Um, I've had very good feedback from it. This is kind of the biggest kicker and the difference between these two. It adds that cushionness, it adds that, that comfort. And so standing on concrete all day, walking on iron beams all day, it gives that feeling of just this nice softness. I actually had a particular iron worker um, up from Colville, Washington, just north of us here in Spokane. And he was one of the first that I kind of tested this boot with. He built like a lot of stadiums over on the western side of the state. And we made this for him. And he walked on it while building, you know, big structures. And he told me how he could actually feel sometimes like he, he was on, if he was on a beam, he could feel the beam as he was walking on. And that was such a plus because that just made it so much more comfortable and safe for him because it wasn't this thick, clunky boot, but it was comfortable and tough and nimble at the same time. He could actually like help himself balance as he was walking on, on, the, on the beams. And so I thought that was so cool. And um, we've since that time made a lot for like electricians and carpenters and um, guys running in and out of houses. A lot of just um, excavating guys who are just you know in an excavator all day, bulldozing, construction, all that kind of stuff. They love this sole. It's comfy. It's soft. It's grippy. Um, it's 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 pretty dang good with traction. And and this has been really good feedback. Our most common height is that six inch height for this one, just because again guys want to cut down on that weight. And we did that flexi design to cut down on that weight. So. Um, the biggest difference is if you had to kind of compare these two, I would say like the identity for the OT is maybe something a little bit more that requires more traction, a little bit more grip, kind of that four wheel drive feel you might say. Um, this one I'd say the identity is something that's a little bit more construction related, in and out of the job site related, in and out of the, the you know, going in, installing something, coming back outside, gravel, iron, more of that kind of feel on concrete floors all day just because it is so comfortable. So those are kind of the two identity differences there. Very similar in terms of the weight of the leather that we're using, identical. Um, the same in the sewing that we're using, the way that we're making them, you know, from our super duties to these, still hand built, still hand lasted, all those same principles. Now what we're doing is we're just tweak we're just tweaking these little things like the soles and kind of the the, uh, the meat inside of the boot to kind of give either that lightweight feel, the flexible, flexible nimble feel, or to kind of keep it that heavy, thick feel. And so that's where kind of the OT in the forefront came from. Um, I really think that it's hard to make a mistake in, in choosing one. I would say if you had to decide, think about what more so the conditions that you're going to be using them in and then make your decision from that point. 
Um, you know, we have a lot of wildland firefighters that go with the OT. We don't really have any wildland firefighters that go with the forefront. We have a lot of construction, iron worker, excavation guys going with the forefront and not as many going with the OT. It doesn't mean that you couldn't necessarily, if you're a construction guy, use the OT, but it's not just a preference of what you're going to use and kind of what you're going to go for. So, um, yeah, I, again, it's, it's just more about your personal preference and what you're doing on your job site. Just kind of think that, think that one through. Um, a lot of guys have both. Um, I've seen that a lot, I've seen that often, where they keep one boot for one season or one job, uh, one particular time of the year, and they'll keep another one for the other. Um, so we see that really often. I actually think that's pretty wise. There's kind of an old wives' tale, you might say, about how you need to have two or three pairs and rotate them, and they last longer, and I just think that's awesome. Um, you know, and maybe it doesn't actually make your boots last longer magically, but it's this idea that if you have two or three pairs, it's easy to change them out. You can keep one for one thing, one for the other, and when the third pair is getting worked on, you've got two that you can switch between. So I think there's a lot of wisdom there. Um, yeah, that's just a quick breakdown between the two. Uh, comment any of your questions below. DM us and ask us more questions. We want to put out more content and be more accessible, more transparency. We want to be so easy to purchase boots from and so clear on what you need and how we can make more models for you. So uh, we love doing this kind of stuff. Message us, email us, DM us, comment below. Thank you for checking us out. Go see our reviews. Go look at our reviews on YouTube. Go look at our reviews on Google. See what other people have to say about us. Hit our website up, jkboots.com. Thanks again so much. Blessings.